All right, I love an afternoon session. Just a quick one, down here for a couple of hours. And mainly I think the target's gonna be Benito, but you never know. Maybe there will be some kingfish. See how we go. This is my medium setup, which is a nine foot six or nine foot eight. I always get that wrong. Nine foot eight rod, P two to four. And I'm gonna pair that with a little Stratic 6000 with P3 line. Got a 60 pound trace today. If I'm not getting any bites, I'll probably drop down to a 40 pound trace. Sometimes if you drop down leader size, you can entice more bites, but it just depends on the day. So I'll give this 60 pound a go because 60 pounds good for kingfish. Just might be too heavy for the bonnies, but it depends what mood they're in. So we'll see. I'm gonna run this little 90 mil, 50 gram Bibs Minnow. Got a great shine to it. Really good for Benito. During the day, I like to let the lure sink a bit more. Generally, the fish will be feeding down a bit deeper. So, I don't know, we'll see. Oh yeah, there we go. Straight on, wow, first cast. That's pretty cool. <laughs> if I can land this thing, it's not much more textbook than that, is it? Oh. Good Bonnie, good Bonnie. Get him up to the surface here. Oh, right against that ledge. Tiny little Bonnie. Oh, there we go. So small. Just gonna let this one go, it's just really tiny. I wanna see him get bigger. There we go, look at it. Put my hand there just to show you how big it is. It's tiny, throw it back in. See if I can catch a bigger one. But first cast, not complaining. Let's see if we can get a bigger one. Try a different spot. And see what happens. Maybe get it down a little bit deeper. That was insane though, straight away. You can feel stuff hitting it on the way down. I can see a whole bunch of fish riding against the ledge. All right, let's see. Yeah, we can go. Oh, I can't believe that. That was insane. First cast. Not as lucky on the second and third. All right. Uh, had a few casts. Got that one little bonnie, but I'm going to put a big soft plastic on and try that. See if there are any kingfish and then switch back. Want to test if there's any kingfish here, so what I'm gonna do, I don't know how that fell off, uh, what I'm gonna do is put out my bigger gear, put a huge soft plastic on and just have a few casts, and then I'll switch back, kind of switch in between kingies and bonnies and that way I should be able to take home a feed. All going well, it's called diversified fishing. This is the nine inch sluggo. I'm gonna go give this thing a few casts. I'm just cycling through the lures. This is a little 40 gram one. When it's slow, sometimes what I like to do is just try a whole bunch of different colors and sizes and profiles and try and see what's working.
Yep. Oh. Yep. Yes, that's a good fish. That's a much better fish. Much better fish. Oh man. There we go. <laughs> Just when I had given up. Oh, come on. Stay on there, you good thing. Come on, little bunny. Nice. All right. Oh, 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 oh. Always hard. There we go. Nice little bonnie. About a 40 centimeter bonnie. I'm just gonna sort this one out and have this one for dinner. All right, because I wanna take some Benito home for dinner today, I brought this nice big bag with some ice packs in it. And I'll just put some water in it and chill that water right down. Just some fresh water out of the little pond here. This is fresh seawater, so it's, there's waves coming in and filling this pond up. And then I can put the bonito in there. It's gonna be nice, icy. It's gonna keep them good. You've gotta look after your catch. If you're gonna keep things to eat, get it straight on ice, keep that flesh really good. And then I'll be able to have it as sashimi later on. All right, get that bonito in there. It's gonna be nice and cold with this ice. It won't take long to cool down. Nice ice water, it'll keep cool. Let's go try that again, that jig worked well. Little Bonnie for dinner at least. Oh, bust it off. Busted that lure off, so I'm gonna switch it up. This is a Maria Re Rise 130. This thing's really cool, actually. Let's tie this one on. Yeah, this thing. I'm not even sure what you call it, but it's a it's a hard body. It doesn't have a bib. It's sort of like a stick bait, but you can use it like a jig. So you let it sink, and then you use a similar action as you would to a jig. So a few short, sharp lifts or one long lift, you just mix it up and see what's working on the day. All right, let's give it a go. Yep. Feels like a good bunny. Oh. Oh. Come back here. Let me go along the ledge. It's a bit better by the look of it. This, got this one in the pool. This one looks like a really nice one for sashimi. Measure it up and uh, get it on ice. That one's about 50 centimeters. 
That's a good bonnie. Sort that one out and keep it for dinner. All right. If you treat them well, they're actually really good to eat, sashimi. Oh, that water's nice and cold in there, so get that one in there. That's good. Doing well this afternoon. All right, I think I'll do a few more casts and then gonna call it quits. There's a lot of just dirty water that's moving in. Getting rid of the blue water and sometimes that can make a, a big difference, particularly, particularly to fish like kingfish. They really like the blue water. And yeah, I just wanted to come fish for a couple of hours. So coming to the end of the session. All right, that brings us to the end of a good little session. Came and achieved what I wanted to. So just wanted to get to Bonito really. Uh, that's enough to feed the family. Got that one that's 50 centimeters. It's gonna be good for sashimi. So I'll make that one into sashimi and then got the 40 centimeter one, which would be good for fish tacos. There'll be a little bit left over from the 50 centimeter one too. And what I'll do is kind of chop that up and uh, into little bits kind of like popcorn size a little bit bigger and then panko breadcrumb it and put it on fish tacos so there'll be a nice little sashimi platter and fish tacos which will be a good dinner so happy days let's go get it done hope you enjoyed and check next time see you thanks for watching